Hey guys, welcome and uh, welcome back. Continuing my DCS World Series videos with a MiG-21, my favorite plane. Bear with me for just a minute while I talk about the MiG-21 and then we'll get into this video. I grew up watching MiG-21s in the old country. I used to go by the airport and watch them take off full afterburner, so the airplane became special to me. As you can see, the three reasons why I don't post as many videos, we're out here in the museum actually looking at the MiG-21 here at Chino, California. There's probably some Czechoslovakian pilot saying, Oh, look, look, that's my, that's my MiG. I used to fly that exact one. Well, Miroslav, come down to Chino, California, and you can see it. They'll probably let you fly it. About the video, in this video, I'll go over some of the flight characteristics, positives, the negatives of the MiG-21. There's quite a few of them on both sides. you got to fly it within this envelope. The MiG-21 is very touchy. The takeoff, the maneuvers, and the landing. The MiG-21 has small delta wings. It does not like slow speeds. It's very unstable below 450 kilometers per hour, 230 knots, and it's hard to fly below these airspeeds. Let's do the takeoff here. It's a rush and everything happens fast, so bear with me here. Everything's gonna happen very fast. Let's uh, hold the brakes, let's go full power. Let's release the brakes, and it's like being shot out of a cannon. Stick is immediately full back and get that nose wheel off the ground. As the nose comes up, release some of that stick power, keep the nose up just there, let it fly off when it's ready to fly, don't force it up. It's very unstable, don't let the wings drop to either side, keep it straight, gear up, keep it there, 450 kilometers per hour, flaps up. Five hundred and fifty kilometers per hour after burners off. That was a rush, guys. That was tougher than it looks. Try it out. It's a challenge. Let's take a look at the takeoff on the outside. Calm down a little bit, and then we'll get back into the video. Stay with me here. It gets better. Okay, now that we're in the airplane, let's do some turns. The plane turns pretty decently. It's got a good turn rate. But don't let the speed drop under 500 kilometers per hour. You want to stay between 550 and 750 kilometers per hour in these fights, in these turns. The thin delta wing creates a lot of drag at high angles of attack. A lot more than just a sweat wing. So the airspeed will drop fast. Right here you can see we're about 550. Let's pull the stick out a little more than we should. In about two seconds, the airspeed drops to 400 and the airplane just loses it. It takes a while to recover. It takes a few seconds and that's the time where you just lost the dogfight. Here's an example where I pulled a little too hard at higher airspeeds and actually had a flame out. You gotta be careful with a MiG-21. And uh, interestingly, I did actually decided to do a crash landing here. I'll show it, just for the heck of it. Why not? Hit pretty hard, but survived. Probably with a back injury, though. So don't overfly the plane. Keep it in that flight envelope above 500 kilometers per hour. MiG-21 has an incredible roll rate. It's so high it actually takes a while to get used to it. And anytime you're above 550 kilometers per hour, you can just put it in the afterburner and do a loop or a semi-loop. And as you can see, it has no issues. Okay, so here I am in a dogfight with an F-4 Phantom. Uh, this is one of those classic Vietnam air battles. My MiG will outturn the F-4, so I got right behind him. As long as I'm within that envelope I was talking about, 
it's pretty much over because my plane will keep up with it. But the F-4 actually had a lot more power, so he could have bugged out of here any time. But because this is an AI, he decided to stay in and, and fight it out. At which point, I get him with a burst. Took part of his wing off. Now, because MiG-21 has very poor slow speed characteristics, it, it's very hard to fly at these slow speeds, it's very unstable. I practice what we do in real life. This is something that's mentioned in my older, older videos, it's called slow flight. You get the plane to below approach speeds with flaps down, gear down, dirty plane, and you practice flying it. It's boring stuff to watch, but it's essential stuff you need in, in order to control this airplane at low speeds. And why do we need to do that? That's because we need to land this airplane. You can see how the whole plane is shaking below 300 kilometers per hour. I'll get used to these turns, get used to these minor inputs. Uh, you'll need it later. You'll, you'll really need this stuff during the landing. At the end, I do a full stall and recover. and it looks like it takes a long time to recover. So if you are at low altitudes, don't stall. Now let's do the landing. Personally, I'd rather land an FA-18 on a ship than a MiG-21 on a long runway. It's easier, in my opinion. Depending on the weight, the approach speeds will vary between 300 and 400 kilometers per hour. I'm about 16,000 pounds here, so the approach speed is about 350. Right now I'm at about 400 kilometers per hour and it's slowly dropping. On this approach, very small inputs, small gentle. These wings want to drop, you want to keep them away from rolling. As this airspeed drops, the, the airplane really wants to sink, so keep that power in there. Use that power to control your altitude. Visibility in the MiG-21 is poor, so the last few seconds, especially during the flare, you may lose the sight of the runway. You may have to use your peripheral vision where you're looking at the size of the runway to make sure you're, you're down the center line. In these cases, you really have to make sure you're aligned and stay aligned prior to the flare. All right, I'll take that landing. On touchdown with no go around, drag shoot out immediately. You want to slow this thing down. Brakes may not be enough to slow this airplane down. It's going way too fast. You may not be able to slow this airplane down. You need that chute. Try to keep it in the middle of the, of the runway the best you can. There is no nose wheel steering yet. It's disengaged. It's too dangerous to use it while at high speeds. So you're basically using the rudder to keep it down the center line. But as the airspeed decreases, that rudder becomes less effective. All right, looks like we made it this time. Let's look back at the landing from the outside and some of my final thoughts. MiG-21 is a very responsive plane, but you have to be within certain limits. Anything below those limits, like landings and takeoffs at slow speed, and the airplane becomes hard to handle. Thanks for sticking with me during this video, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.